Hello, I'm Steve with Touch of the Master's Hand, Holy Spirit Ministries. I want to talk today about the wisdom from above, um, so I'm going to kind of dive into it. Um, there was a family member in my family that was just, Satan was really using them, you call them just messing up their lives a lot. And I was, I got mad. I was like mad at them, finally in prayer, walking through the house praying. Got, got told God I was mad at the devil, mad at the, just sin and stuff taking over. I said, I said, finally I said, Jesus, what would you do? And then I remember he told me a while back, I always go to his word. So James three seventeen is what the Lord spoke to me. Wisdom from above. If you read before that, it's the wisdom of the world. So right now, if you just you know the truth isn't isn't being portrayed in the in the world around us. Um, you know, I was watching the news. It's a mess. Twenty four seven. It's about Trump and the Russia investigation, pretty much, and how bad of a job he's doing. Whether you voted for him or not, you know, what, whichever candidate you picked. I'm not trying to politicize this. It was, you know, mudslinging. Who was the worst candidate? Who was the bigger? Who was the biggest liar? It wasn't even really about what what they were gonna do for the country. It was about who was the worst one. It was like picking the lesser of two evils. So that's not wisdom from above. <clears throat> we need to pray for our, our leaders and get people into that that have wisdom that are our godly that are living a life of Jesus with Jesus in their hearts. You know, look at the, as I was watching the news, you know, their government's about to shut down, you know. They're, one side's digging in their heels over the border wall, one side's digging their heels on over DACA, you know. So, and they're going to shut down the government, turn the lights off, you know. How is that wisdom from above? We're getting deeper and deeper in debt, you know. That's not wisdom from above, but that's neither here nor there that's just kind of you know the political landscape of it the things that are going on in the world you know we need to preach the truth you know my wife and i the lord had given us a ministry that's why i call it touch of the master's hand it's about the brokenhearted the lost just lost and undone people that are drug addicted alcohol addicted those type of people are just the ministry that the lord has given us a heart for so you know, we just work. We have a regular, just normal, you know, normal people. Don't have a big, huge business. Don't have a lot of opportunity that some people do have. So, praying about it. Trusting in the Lord. Not knowing He's going to open the doors, but didn't know what door He's going to open. My wife was in prayer one day. And ran into this lady that was a director of one of the homeless shelters here in Dallas asked for prayer, led to my wife speaking there every other Monday, led to us meeting the ministers that were over over the whole program. They turned over the whole Sunday night service to us. All I do is go down there, buzz security when I get to the gate, let me in to open up the church. They open up the church, minister to these people, whatever the Lord lays on our heart, however the Lord works it out. Last Sunday night, it seemed to be their night six, eight, ten different people spoke for five or ten minutes. I just gave them the mic. Turned it over to them. I just watched their continents change and their whole spirit changed and, you know, preached about the truth. So, anyhow, I'm going to read a, I'm going to read a vision that I had in a book that the Lord inspired me to write. And it's all backed up by scripture. And I put scriptures to go with it. So, I'm going to read, read the vision and then read the scriptures. I saw a preacher standing in front of his congregation. He was at a large green chalkboard. He wrote on it the big, in big white letters, taking up the whole chalkboard, the word truth. Jesus said I, unto them, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. John 14, 6. John 4, 4 23, 24, 8, 31 through 32, 15, 1 through 8, 15, 26. Ephesians 4, 21 through 24, 5 and 9, 2 Timothy 3, 7, and 4, 14. It's time that we rise as a, as, a, as a people of God and tell the truth. We're in a dispensation of Jesus. You know, everybody, a lot of churches talk about God, but you put Jesus in the equation, a lot of them don't talk about it. 
don't, don't talk about the Bible. That's the Word of God. You know, Jesus, God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit are all one. You don't believe me? I can send you a message about God's image of you, or you can look at my YouTube video about it. I got over 20 scriptures to back that up. It's time that we start portraying the truth. It's it's we're in a dispensation of time that Jesus wants wants to be the focal point. That's God's perfect plan for mankind, for the salvation of mankind. That that we need to help people accept Jesus into their hearts, start the process, start their journey towards salvation. That's the hour that we're living in. Not the world as, it, as we know it, not all the mixed up stuff all around us. It's that. It's all about Jesus. If, if, you know, there's many, many churches in this country, and you know, half or better of them don't even talk about Jesus. Don't even talk about the Bible. Have their own books. Have their own twisted doctrine. You know? So it's time that we start portraying the truth. Anyhow, watch some of my other videos. I won't keep you too long on this. Um, wisdom from above, pray. Let God direct you from above. The wisdom that comes from above. Read James 3.17. Awesome scripture. You know, peaceable, gentle, long-suffering. All of the wisdom from above. That's what we need in this last day and time. Holy Spirit, time of God is the wisdom from above. Thanks for watching. Tune in to my other YouTube videos. Sorry for the lame video. I'm working on that. I got some people that are going to help me with it soon. Um, I'm going to pay him some money to help me. So anyhow, God bless you. Thanks for listening. Talk to you soon.